In this video, we're going to look at how to find a percentage of a number, like how to find 20% of 150. The easiest way to do this is probably to use the percentage button on your calculator, and just do 20% times 150, which will give you 30. However, some calculators don't have this button, and so it's important to know the other ways of working out percentages, like turning the percentage into a decimal first, or turning the percentage into a fraction first. To convert a percentage into a decimal, all you do is divide it by 100. So here we'd do 20 divided by 100, which is 0 0.2. And then to find 20% of 150, we just multiply that 0 0.2 by 150, which will give us 30 again. Or if you wanted to use the fraction technique, you just take the percentage, so 20, and make it a fraction by putting it over 100. So 20% is 20 over 100. And then we can multiply that by 150 to get 30. If you didn't have a calculator though, then it would probably be easier to simplify the 20 over 100 to 1 over 5 first, by dividing top and bottom by 20. And then just multiply that 1 fifth by the 150 to get 30. Now, the really important thing to understand here is that the reason that we can convert a percentage into a decimal or a fraction before we multiply it by 150 is because 20%, 0 0.2, and 20 over 100 all mean exactly the same thing. They actually all have the same value. And so when we multiply any of them by 150, we're going to get the same answer. Have a go at using all three techniques for this one. So here, we're being asked to find 36% of 250. The simplest thing to do would be to put 36% times 250 straight into the calculator, which will give us 90. To use the decimal technique though, we'd do 36 divided by 100 to get 0 0.36, and then multiply that by 250 to get 90 again. Or finally, for the fraction technique, we'd do 36 over 100 to put it into a fraction, and times that by 250 to once more get 90. Now, sometimes you might be asked to find a percentage that's bigger than 100, like here where we're trying to find 145% of 60. In these cases, our answer will be bigger than the number that we're looking at. So in this case, the answer is going to be bigger than 60. But it doesn't make any difference to how we do it. So we can still use the percentage button on our calculator and do 145% times 60. The decimal technique by dividing 145 by 100 to get 1.45 and multiplying that by 60. Or the fraction technique by dividing 145 by 100 and handling that by 60. In all cases, we'll get an answer of 87. The last thing we need to look at is how they could make the questions more complicated in your exams by using long sentences, rather than just giving you the question directly. For example, in this one, we're told that Mrs. Smith teaches biology to a class of 25 pupils, 60% of which are girls. And we have to work out how many girls there are in the class. So if we think about what we know, we know that there are 25 pupils, and 60% of them are girls. So to find the number of girls, we just find 60% of 25. And remember, we can do this using the percentage button, the decimal technique, or the fraction technique, all of which would tell us that there are 15 girls. You could also be asked to find how many boys there are in the class. And for this, because we know that there's a total of 25 pupils, and 15 of them are girls, all we have to do is 25 take away 15, to find that there must be 10 boys in the class. Another way to do this question, though, is to think of the 25 pupils as representing 100%, because that's the entire class. And then to find the number of boys as a percentage, we just take away the 60% that are girls 
so 100% minus 60%, which tells us that the other 40% must be boys. Then we could just find 40% of 25 using any of our three techniques, which would tell us that there are 10 boys in the class. Anyway, that's it for this video. So hope that all made sense. If it did, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.